Okay. Hey everyone, I'm doing another getting ready, not getting ready, chit chat video because you guys like them apparently. Um, so with my hair, I should say it now, it's not staying this colour. Um, I've done some more blonde at the top, so it's quite blonde at the top. Not that you can see in the sliding because it's really like odd. I'll show you my hair at the end of the video. Um, so I've got no makeup on, as you can tell. I'm going to start by applying a little bit of my BB cream. This one is the Leo Alley one. The triple the solution cream. So I just take like a pump and a half and just put this all over my face. I find this like to be the best primer ever and I don't have to use much foundation over top of it. Or like I don't have to use any but I'm going to because this is really pale and I want more coverage. I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC20 but I could probably go up a shade. Um, but there's no MAC near me so I just have to deal with it and put a darker powder on top of it. So Dona Lace Light, my last to um, not tutorial I did review I did for them, how I reviewed their Vortex collection, I think it is. They really appreciated the fact that I was honest as well. They actually said that in the email, so they wanted to send me some more brushes to review, and this is one of them. And I've been using it for my foundation every day, and so far, so good. So, yeah. I've only used, like, two, or, no, I've used three of the brushes. One of the brushes I haven't even touched. But these are basically the same kind of deal as the... Um, Sigma collection, that one that's got the Kabuki brushes, what is it called? The Sigmax collection, that's it. But it also has a Kabuki brush. This works just as well as that Sigma brush that I was using, the little contour brush, except this doesn't shred because it's synthetic. So that is a huge bonus. It also gives a kind of more natural application, like slightly thinner. So depending who you are, that could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, I suppose. I don't mind it. Then I put it down my neck just to blend it since my neck is really really white and I don't want to look like I'm wearing a mask or anything. God my camera is getting terrible. I think I'm going to have to invest in a new camera soon because the colours come up so bizarre. Like I'm like glowing yellow in that but it's not like that at all in real life. And my lips look like they're really bright on camera but they're not. Ugh. That's more money. <laughs> Whose YouTubers videos do you like the quality of the best? Because I'll go stalk their page and see what camera they use. <laughs> now I'm using my favourite concealer of the moment, my Derma Blend Cover Cream in Rose Beige. And I use this under my eyes. Down the centre of my nose. And then around my nose. Okay, I'm going to go straight into my eyeshadow. I might use, what's this palette? My Oh So Special palette by Sleek. Sure. Um, looks like that. I haven't used this on myself before, I don't think. Or maybe like once, but I used it on my friend for her bridal makeup. Okay. I'm just taking the highlight shade. And then... This colour here looks really pretty. That shimmery kind of brown. It looks a bit like mulch by MAC. Put that all over the lid. Then I'm going to take my E25 blending brush, my favourite, and I'll go in with the colour underneath that. I'll blend that out. I'm loving heavy eye makeup lately. Um, on my Facebook page I asked you guys to ask me questions about anything. 
that I can answer in a video on my vlog channel. Um, because I get so many questions about like my ex and what happened because we broke up ages ago and I just never really cared about telling anyone but I suppose I need to clear it up. I did clear it up like on form spring and on a vlog one time but people still ask so um, I'm just going to do a video and it's not only going to be about that like you can ask me anything about anything preferably not really makeup related because you can ask me that on this channel but I don't know, if you have any questions, leave them down below or go on my Facebook page and check it out. I'm just going to blend that out. Whoops. Oh, I just saw an eyeshadow fall on the, fall on the ground, which I really want to use. I just remembered about it. Okay, first I'm going to take a um, pencil brush and I'm going in with this purpley brown here. That one. Oh, and that one in the corner. I'm going to mix them together and that's going to go underneath the lash line. Ow. Always good if you don't stab yourself in the eye. And then I might just add a little bit into the outer corner too, to bring it together. And then I use my Sigma brush again to blend that in. And then the eyeshadow that I dropped that I want to use, this is Peri Peri. I've used this in a tutorial, I think it was my Christmas tutorial, and this is number 27 with the Peri Peri eyeshadows, and I love it. I'm just going to apply some of this on top of my lid. It's so glittery and pretty. It's vanishing a bit. I'll just use this colour out here. This is the Lust Palette by Wet n Wild. really pretty you can see okay now I'm gonna powder I use my kabuki brush and what color am I at the moment this is number 005 in the Rimmel powder just apply this all over my face My face is still paler than my body, so I'm going to use bronzer, bourgeois. Look, hair's all over the place. I'm getting wrinkles. I need to stop frowning in the sun and crap. Um, Then I'll contour with my favorite powder if I can even find it. I really need to clean out my makeup, like get rid of some stuff because there's so much thing, there's so many things I don't use, and it's just a waste of space. Okay, must be over there. It sure was. Okay, Hula by Benefit, and I'm just using an Elf blush brush. I really want to try a NARS bronzer and my mum's going to America in August so 
you guys should let me know which shade I should get of the NARS bronzer. Um, it'll probably still be the shade. I'm not fading or anything. So, I don't know. Some help would be appreciated. And then for my blush, I'm going to use my NARS Super Orgasm on a small Encore Joe Fiber brush with, I should say. This blush is so beautiful. I used it on my mum for her wedding day and she actually loved it. Look how weird my colours are coming up on my camera. Okay, seriously. I'm getting really sick of this. <laughs> how pretty is this? Not like you can see because my camera is screwed up. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. I don't need a highlighter because it has glitter in it, so I'm going to go on to my eyes. I might do my eyebrows first, and I have, this is like nothing on them. Um, I'm just going to fill them in with maybe Naked from the Naked first Naked palette. See how this works out. Okay, that's the brows on. Just move forward again. Um, what else do I have to do? My eye makeup, maybe? Okay. I'm gonna use NYX Studio Liquid Liner. I'm just gonna keep it real simple. I'm just gonna put this on in mascara. I hope you can see me. Sometimes I like not wearing liquid eyeliner, but then other times I feel like the makeup look isn't complete. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Without, like, liquid eyeliner, it just looks like beer. I don't know. Next time I make an order of non pro Boutique for some more eyelashes, I'm going to get another one of these. I might actually make an order soon and get the, someone said the Ash kit for eyebrows. But like, I still want to keep my eyebrows darker than my hair colour. Especially since I'm going to be putting glow lights in it, it'll like even out. But I don't want them too dark, you know. Apparently you should keep your eyebrows two shades darker if you're blonde and like two or three shades lighter if you're a brunette. So... I reckon that kind of looks good. And then for mascara, I've been using two quite a lot. The Great Lash Lots of Lashes and the 1x1 One One Volume Express, both by Maybelline. I start off with the Maybelline one. I mean, they're both Maybelline. The 1x1. One One. I love the eyelashes on this eye and I hate the ones on my other eye. Ugh. Does anyone ever do that? Just miss the tube. This eye, there's like gaps in my eyelashes. Made me laugh when they put me on TV. On like the ads on TV. Um, they put on a clip of me doing my mascara face. <laughs> I've been wearing this blue top like all the time eh? It's so comfortable. I think today I might sneak into town and buy another couple because I'm picking up some jeans for Hamish apparently um so while I'm in there because the same shop is where I got this from factory uh, got it on my eye might sneak in and buy myself a top because I haven't bought any clothes in like a whole week <laughs> And then I usually just go back over again with the Maybelline one. It's so weird looking at myself with blonde hair. I'm still not used to it. Like, every time I walk past a mirror, I'm like, who's that? <laughs> my dad saw me for the first time last night with my hair properly. Because every time he saw me, it was wet. And excuse the purple in it. I toned it for ages last night. Like, that's going to come out soon. But my dad was like... Whoa! And then he's like, hey blondie, he keeps calling me blondie. And he's like, nah, it looks good. But then he was just like, wow, that's different. 
Um, okay, what else do I have to do? My lips. Um, I'm just going to use what's right here. India lipstick by NYX, the black label lipstick. Because I can't be bothered going through my lipstick. Ooh. See what I mean? If you could see this in real life right now, it's a different colour. On camera, my lipsticks always glow and they look way paler than they really are. Eh, okay. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of Febby on top. Just because I can. This is OCLC Lip Tar, by the way. They are phenomenal and I love them a lot, but I don't use them too much because it's a bit of a mission. Well, not really. I've been using them more lately. I kind of went through a phase where I didn't use them. This is like the exact same colour as India, except way more opaque, opaque and slightly more pink. It's gorgeous. Cherry Boom. Freaking hell. I saw you. Eh. Can't get it out. I saw you in your video with this lip tie on and it looked amazing on you. Just saying. I'll put your link down below. Check her out. She's really, really sweet. Can't even get over this, eh? OCC lip ties are amazing. I've got a review on them that I did ages ago if you want to check it out. I'm sure you can search for it on my channel. But they're like the most opaque kind of lip gloss, lip gloss formula. Kind of like a lip stain, lipstick all in one. But they are amazing. Okay. I'm going to do my hair. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like in like the sunlight. Hold on. I'll show you my makeup first. Eh. Okay. My lips do not look like this in real life. Let me just say that. If they did... I would feel like a fool. Okay, I styled my hair. Kelly. There's so many like orange patches still that I've got to even out and then I want to put in my low lights. This purple piece of hair is cracking me up. Um, so this is what my hair looks like today. It's very Barbie-ish, isn't it? Okay, that's enough. And my fringe is finally sitting quite nicely. It was kind of short for a while. But I need to shape this side of my hair. This needs to trim so that it sits nicely against the side of my face. Because as you can see, it's just kind of floppy. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys have a really good day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.